I'm here with Ruben Dario Cruz at Tamron. They're going to show us their new lenses. Ruben? Yeah, well, there's a lot of excitement right now at Tamron because there's a couple of new technologies that we've introduced into our lens line. So while some of the lenses are lenses that we've had for a little bit, they've been upgraded. Uh, the main upgrade has been that we've added a built-in motor to our Nikon mountain lenses for compatibility with the D40, the D40X, and now the new D60. Okay. Um, so we're very excited about that because previously we didn't have that compatibility. Um, we have done it in six lenses, and uh, the two that are currently available are the 18 to 250 millimeter right. and the 70 to 300 1 to 2 macro. So those are currently on the shelves uh, for uh, consumers. The next ones that will be slated for that uh, transfer to a built-in motor is the 17 to 50 2.8, the 18 to 200. And of course, the new 28 to 300 VC, which we'll save for the end because that's a really exciting product. And then, of course, when the 70 to 200 28 begins to ship, it'll also ship with a built-in motor. Okay, that's a, that's a really popular product, the, the D40, D40X. Absolutely. So that's a good feature to have. A absolutely. What were the prices on some of these? Uh, they range anywhere between a street price of uh, $399 up to $699. Okay, so you're going to show us what's special about that lens next, right? Uh, yes, I'm actually going to. If we can uh, step over there in okay. a few minutes, we'll talk about the new 28 to 300 VC. I said that the technology has really been the excitement here. Tamron has introduced their own proprietary image stabilization, which they called vibration con uh, compensation. And uh, they put it in our flagship lens, 28 to 300. Well, let's uh, go look at that. Yes, let's go. Okay, so here we are. We're looking at these new lenses. Let's see what we have. Again, this is the uh, new 28 to 300 VC, and VC stands for Vibration Compensation. It's Tamron's proprietary development for anti-shake in our lens. It was put into our flagship lens, the 28 to 300. We're very excited about this technology. There's several things about this particular lens that separates us in the market. Uh, one is that the 28 to 300 will cover full frame lens, uh, camera system. So not only is it compatible with uh, sub full frames or APS-C size cameras, but it's also compatible with things like the Canon 5D, the new Nikon D3, and some uh, film cameras. So there's, there's a lot more wide accessory uh, to the consumers in terms of uh, lenses. Um, the other is, is that uh, the vibration compensation system that's built in here uses what's called a triaxial configuration. And what that means is that most of the systems on the market use two driving coils to actually correct the optical path with the element. In this case, they're using three driving coils. And what that does is create a more stable image through the viewfinder, so it's not as annoying when you're taking pictures. And it also allows us to achieve four stops of light control on this lens. That's great. So on this monitor here, you can see that this was shot at 1 15th of a second, the EXIF data is there, at 300 millimeters. And that's typical of what someone would get if they try to hand hold this lens at 300 millimeters. On this one, we've got the same shot, same focal length, same sh shutter speed, but because the VC is now on, you can see that the image is very sharp. Right. So let's I'd, see this thing. I'd like to now demonstrate it in a live view mode for you. So what you can see here is, I'm going to start wide so it's a little easier. I'm going to zoom out to the banner sign that says ILC and focus on it. As you can see, typically this is what would happen if somebody tried to hand hold this lens right. at the 300 millimeter. But when I activate the VC, you see that it... I'll let go so you can see it one more time. Very shaky. And then I'll activate it. So you can see it's a very impressive uh, technology. Mm. Another feature that sometimes is overlooked on this lens is it's got a macro capability of 1 to 2.9, and it focuses down to 19.3 inches. So you have a macro capability. So you've got That's a lens cool. essentially that covers 28 to 300 millimeters. Mm -hmm. It's full frame, and you've got a vibration compensation okay. system. That's great. Well, thanks very much. This when is this going to be available? The Canon is already on the shelves. The Nikon will be sometime in the early spring. Okay. All right, and people can find out more about it at Tamron. Or they, can go to, they can go to www.tamron.com, and actually there's a, uh, there's a specific website that we've created that gives you a lot more information specifically on this lens. All right. Well, thanks very much, Ruben. You're welcome.